Psalm 40, a psalm given to credit uh, to David. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust who does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside to false gods. Many, O Lord, my God, are the wonders you have done, the things you planned for us no one can recount to you. Were I to speak and to tell of them, they would be too many to declare. Amen, amen. Too many blessings from the Lord, am I right, uh, to recount. I hope you are able to see uh, the, the many blessings from the Lord uh, today. Verse six, sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but my ears you have pierced. Burnt offerings and sin offerings you do not require. Then I said, here I am, I have come. It is written about me in the scroll. I desire to do your, your will, oh my God. Your law is within my heart. I proclaim righteousness in the great assembly. I do not seal my lips as you know, O Lord. I do not hide your righteousness in my heart. Here it is. I speak of your faithfulness and salvation. My hope is that you would regularly proclaim the goodness of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the work he is doing in your life, that you would not just see it uh, active, you would not just see God's active work in your life, but you would regularly boast about it, uh, boast about the goodness of the Lord. I do not conceal your love and your truth from the, the great assembly. Verse 11, do not withhold your mercy from me, O Lord. May your love and your truth always protect me. For troubles without number surround me. My sins have overtaken me and I cannot see who's been there or your, your sins blind you. Uh, I know, unfortunately, I have, but the Lord's gracious and he is good and he always bestows his mercy. For troubles, verse 12, for troubles without number surround me. My sins have overtaken me. I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head and my hearts fail within me. Be pleased, O Lord, come quickly to help me. May all who seek to take my life be put to shame and confusion. May all who desire my ruin be turned back in disgrace. May those who say to me, aha, aha, be appalled at their own shame. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation always say, the Lord be exalted. Yet I am poor and needy. May the Lord think of me. You are my help and my deliverer. Oh my God, do not delay. This, this psalm really at the, at the heartbeat for me, uh, and I, I steal it from verse one, is to uh, wait patiently. Uh, I think throughout even, even the psalm as he's talking about his sins, as he's talking about the enemies uh, coming around him, he's, even in the moments that, that he were, pauses to recount the goodness of the Lord, he does so uh, with, uh, with awaiting patiently. And actually in the psalm, you see two types of patience being uh, expressed. The first deals with that, uh, the patience of the long haul, kind of the, the enduring patience uh, reminds us that even in the midst of uh, waiting for long periods of time, uh, God's deliverance is sure uh, and it is worth the wait. And so whatever you are waiting for, uh, continue on waiting. Continue to, to trust in the Lord in, the, in, that, in those endeavor. The second waiting is that durable waiting. This is that uh, expectant, that uh, anticipation. This is that um, it is coming, the, the, the childhood Christmas anticipation uh, waiting. Uh, the, the thing that comes to mind for me is actually the parable recorded in the Gospel of Matthew, uh, where it talks about the, the 10 virgins. Uh, the 10 virgins are waiting for the bridegroom, and all 10 are, are patiently waiting. All 10, unfortunately, fall asleep in the, in the waiting process. Uh, and five, though, however, anticip uh, are, are, are waiting in such a way of anticipation that they bring extra oil uh, to the process uh, in, their, in their readiness. And so I just want to close our time with just 
the challenge, the encouragement to um, maybe you've been praying for something. Maybe you've been waiting for, for God to do something. Friends, it, it, regardless, whatever you're waiting for, if it's of the Lord, continue to wait because it will be so worth it. Uh, I, I pray for strength. I pray for uh, your willingness to, to endure during this waiting time. Uh, but where necessary, I also encourage you to, uh, with anticipation, to do your part as well, uh, to, to not, not just wait, but to be prepared. Uh, and if it's gathering the extra oil uh, in that parable I, I just mentioned from uh, the uh, Gospel of Matthew, uh, I encourage you to uh, be prepared, uh, full of anticipation as you wait for the, the Lord to, uh, as you wait for the Lord's uh, blessing, wait for the Lord uh, with patiently during this season. Well, God bless you and uh, the Lord's strength in this season.